All right, guys, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the shift knob on Project Barbatos. So from what I've seen, this is easy. So let's just walk through it really quick. Okay, so in order to uh, remove the shift knob, you have to separate the leather uh, boot from the knob. So all you have to do is grab both sides or front, front and back of the boot and pull down. And it comes off, all right? Now, what you have right here is a 14 millimeter uh, jam nut. So all you need is a 14 millimeter uh, open wrench or an adjustable wrench so you can get in there so you can loosen it. Take off the shift knob. There it goes. Whoa, there it is. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna weigh the, the knobs. I have three different uh, shift knobs. Uh, I have the OEM SI, the one that came on the car, and I have two hand-me-downs from my Fiesta. I have a uh, Buddy Club. Uh, I believe this is a Type B. Not 100% sure. I got this a while ago. And I have a James uh, JBR, James Barone Racing um, spherical knob. Um, so yeah, we'll go through and then um, we'll see which one is heavier. We'll just, at this point, we're just going to get data to see how I want to go with this because there are pros and cons to having a heavy knob and a light knob. So it's, it's all relative. It's all personal preference. And another thing to note, <clears throat> these are, with exception to the Civic knob, these were for a Fiesta, so they were 12 by one and a quarter. And I was able to get a uh, an adapter to bring it down to the 10 by one and a half that the Civic is. So let's get some weights. All right, so first up is the OEM uh, Civic SI knob. This is in grams. So the OEM knob is 139 grams. Okay, let's see where we are with the, the Buddy Club. Buddy Club knob is at 86 grams, 85, let's say 85, so about 50 grams lighter than the OEM knob. And lastly is the James Barone Racing. That one is 526 grams. Okay, so a little, a little more information on these three knobs. So the Buddy Club has a Delrin uh, cover, which is nice for uh, places where it's hot. So it, it, you know, you don't burn your hand when, when you're getting to a car after a long day of work. And this is all metal. I mean, this thing is a, is a, is a hammer. So, um, but there are pros and cons to each one. Uh, the lighter knob um, will give a notchier feel. Um, <clears throat> while the heavier knob, knob will be smoother and you can you can literally shift with the the tips of your fingers It's going to be so easy to shift. It's not even funny. So this the heavier knobs help remove notchiness from uh, Shifting so let's get back in the car. Let's see how they look and then uh, we'll go from there All right guys, so we're back in the car. I got my shift boot back on and I put the uh, brass um, adapter on the shift knob so let's see how this looks we're going with the buddy club first okay Next up, <clears throat> we're going to do the, the James Barone uh, Racing uh, Spherical Knob. Now one thing about this knob over the Buddy Club is that this one is actually inset into the knob. So I actually sit a little bit lower than the Buddy Club. Yeah. That looks good. Let's see how this feels. 
Jesus. tips of my fingers guys can't go into fifth I guess uh, when the cars uh, not moving it won't allow you to shift into fifth but I mean it is so easy it's not even funny so we're gonna stick with the James Brown racing I'm gonna take it off cuz I'm gonna spruce it up a little bit thanks to mrs. 26 she cut out some vinyl for us so we're gonna we're gonna make this look just a little bit pretty all right, we'll be back. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. <clears throat> Throw any comments down below. Uh, let me know what you think of the knob or if you have any questions. Um, I'm all ears. So until next time, peace.